know, like it's a, in a win, it's a win, right? Oh, yeah. that, that's what matters. I mean, I'm probably not exactly where you want to go, but give us the feel right now. Um, you know, because of the change of opponents, I had to kind of adapt my style and, and look where, where the biggest advantage was in the fight, and I believe it was on the ground. Um, you know, he has a kickboxing background, he's fought in glory, etc., etc. So I believe that had a big advantage on the ground. I wanted to feel him out in the first round and sort of draw him into a bit of a, a wrestling match. Um, and then somewhere in the first or second, I broke my knuckle or my top of my hand. So I couldn't let my hands go as much as I wanted, so I just had to keep on wrestling, you know? Interesting. So I was going to ask, I mean, obviously we, we wouldn't expect you to wrestle yeah. that much, but so a little bit planned, a little bit had to change on the slot? I mean, the, the plan was always to go into the first round and grind him a bit and get him, get him tight because he did take the fight on short notice, so I was trying to drain him out a bit and then let my hands go from the second, but I could feel there was something wrong and I believed I could get the fight to the ground and, and finish him. You're the first one to fight out there. Give, give us an idea. What is the feeling out there? The heat, the humidity, I mean, is, is it going to be impacting man, people tonight? Man, let me tell you, that was the first thing I said to my corner. I was like, this place is so hot. I couldn't breathe properly. It was, um, you know, I come from altitude, so I believed I would have I would have great um, cardio out here, which I felt it did, but the heat really sa really sapped my energy really quick. So I just had to like bite down and keep going, you know? Well, like I said, you, you got the win. That's oh, yeah. What's, what, what's next? I mean, it sounds like you may have to heal up a little bit, but what's yeah, the plan? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go home and see, see what happens with this, uh, get my doctor to check it out, and then we'll, we'll speak to my management team and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I can see the takedown was hard to get to get the Once he's dead, the yeah, it really, really was. I mean, I, I knew he was 6'1", I'm 6 foot, um, so I, I figured I, I could only, I needed to only pick him up a couple of inches, you know, and put him on his back. But he was a lot taller, he felt a lot taller than 6'1", than so, uh, you know, his, his length really did play a difference. So, I don't think he got that surprised um, he, was, he was strong, he was a strong guy, you know. Um, I mean, he's 22 years old, so I'd expect him to be strong. So, uh, yeah, I mean... Man, in this game you have to adapt. You can't, you can't just uh, go in and, and think that your game plan is going to go the way it works, the way it is. But I said to adapt in the fight and, and you know, the end result is the end result. It was uh, about two weeks uh, that you had to notice. What was your first reaction when you heard that uh, Magomed was the fight? Um, yeah, I think it was uh, 17 days or something. But, uh, you know, at, at first I was really upset because I thought that was going to be a great fight. I thought we'd have a really, really good fight. We'd probably put on fight of the night or get, get bonus each. Um, this is the sport. We have to adapt, you know. It's, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, if, if, if it happens in the next fight, I have to do the same thing and adapt. You just look at the opponent and, and go from there. Is he someone that maybe you would like to, to fight maybe later down the line? Sure, of course, you know. I, there's, there's a bunch of guys that I like to fight, you know. Um, but again, it's not up to me. It's up to the UFC and uh, my, my management team, depending on what we want to do next. Um, it was awesome to have someone like Cyborg just in South Africa. You know, we don't get many uh, superstars in in South Africa. You know, it's quite a far place. Uh, so it was amazing to have her there and for her to share knowledge and for her to see what, what kind of talent we have in um, in South Africa. You know, we got my, my friend JP Base, who's who's right there on the cuff of getting signed to the UFC, and uh, when he gets in here, he's going to shake up the bantamweight division for sure. What's it like uh, being? everything to me you know my, my country we're going through some hard times at the moment um, we're going through a few tough times and, and my message was to say you know we're South Africans let's pull together and let's stop killing each other let's 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 band together and let's let's bring the country up rather than bring it down I really hope it does, you know, um, like you said, we've got a bunch of guys with African heritage and, um, you know, if we bring it to, if we bring it to Africa, I'd love it for it to be in Cape Town, my hometown. So you spoke about it already, but can you tell us, exactly, is, that the, is that the harshest kind of environment you've ever fought in, would you say, because of the, the air conditioning and stuff and the humidity? Um, not really, you know, I used to live in Thailand, so I've, I've fought a bunch of times. Um, I think because it's MMA, you know, and, and wrestling and the, the heat and the grind, it, it does get to you, and especially after weight cuts and stuff like that. You know, trying to keep hydrated in this in this heat is really tough. So, like I said, you have to adapt and, and evolve. You know. Hey, you know, I'm I'm part of the new new generation. My coach Richie Kwan, you know, he's 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 
the man, you know, we've got a, we've got a team of killers at Coach One University and all we need is that little bit of attention and a little bit of opportunity to get into the bigger shows and get some eyes on us and that's all we need. We've got, we've got killers in South Africa. It all depends on what's going on with my hand, but um, you know, hopefully early early next year, maybe the first, second card of, the, of next year, um, but as, as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah! Oh, boy, man.